Ali Dawa has been accused of being an undercover Christian for some time now. And while that seemed unlikely before, in a recent video, the ex-Muslim Ali Dawa not only apostatizes from Islam, but also appears to publicly convert to Christianity. We'll need to evaluate his alleged conversion further in this video, but either way, his apostasy still has pretty severe repercussions as it is. After all, sadly, even Ali Dawa himself used to call for the death of apostates, saying, This is a part of our religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah, there's a reason why there's a capital punishment because people like you, little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt and we're proud of that. Yeah, not individuals going and doing it themselves like uh, idiots. Yeah, no, under an emir, it is done. Yes, and we, you know what, we'll be watching. We'll be watching because if you're going to cause corruption in the land, that's going to cause more uh, damage to the society as a whole because the Sharia didn't come to protect an individual's right. Hey, can I drink alcohol? Yeah, sure. Drink alcohol, uh, run someone over, kill them, set the, uh, uh, all this kind of chaos. No, Islam says the right of the community is greater than you individual wanting your right to freedom, which is BS. Absolutely BS. Yeah. Don't get me started. So it just backfired on you. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, I think that did backfire on him. <laughs> Agreed. So, I know I already explained how he apostatized in my last video, but what makes you think he converted to Christianity? I guess if he really did convert, though, that'd be further proof of his apostasy from Islam as well. Indeed. Let's watch some recent clips from Ali Dawa and see if any of you Muslims out there are devout enough to catch it. So, Christians, wake up! We Muslims are not your enemy. We call our Christian and Jewish brothers to the one true faith of worshipping the God the way he deserves to be worshipped. That's all I want to say. May allow the Jewish Christians and the Muslims come and live together in peace and harmony. I mean, that definitely doesn't sound very Islamic. But as a Christian, that also doesn't sound like a conversion to Christianity to me. But according to the Quran, it is. Quran Surah 551 O you who have believed, do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies. They are, in fact, allies of one another. And whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed, he is one of them. Indeed, Allah guides not the wrongdoing people. Oh wow, so to all the Muslims out there, according to the Quran, when Ali Dawa said Muslims aren't Christians' enemies, and when Ali Dawa called Jews and Christians his brothers and sisters, and when Ali Dawa asks for Jews and Christians and Muslims to come together and live in peace and harmony, Allah considers these acts of Ali Dawa allying himself with Jews and Christians as a conversion to Christianity? Yes, you heard what Allah said. According to Quran Surah 551, Ali Dawa is now a Christian because Allah says anyone who takes a Christian as an ally is actually a Christian and Ali Dawa is taking Christians as allies. Wow, so we know the Quran considers Ali Dawa a Christian now, but I'm still pretty sure that's not how converting to Christianity actually works in reality. Do you question the Quran? Well, I mean, I have proved the Quran follows in a ton of videos, so... Oh. Well, how does the Bible say you become a Christian? Let's look at what Romans says. Romans 10, 9 through 17. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, Everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news." but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. So when we hear what the God of the Bible has already done, we can know he is indeed God, and we can have faith in him. And when we confess that Jesus, peace becomes from him, is indeed Lord, and when we believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved? Yes. 
That's the true way to be a Christian, because ultimately, it's not about what we've done, but about acknowledging what Christ has done and being willing to accept his sacrifice for us. Wow, that's really cool. Where can I find out more about this God? The Gospel of John is a great place to start. Oh. Muslims keep telling me that the gospel is corrupted, though. Well, we actually have a lot of historical proof the gospel is preserved. And I actually have a whole video proving how the Quran commands we each judge by the gospel and what the repercussions are if we do and if we don't. Spoilers. The Quran proves the Bible true and the Quran false. I'll even link it for all of you to check out after this if you'd like. Thank you. Of course. I'm so glad we can all seek and share truth together better than ever before. Me too. I guess to answer the big question of the video though, Ali Dawa is an apostate, but he isn't truly a Christian, even though the Quran claims he is now. Sadly so. This is just one more way the Quran proves itself false and that Allah, <coughs> Muhammad, had no idea what he was talking about. But that said, we can still pray for the truth to set Ali Dawa free, just as we should long for Christ himself to set us all free with his truth. The only truth. Do you mind if we close this out in prayer? Go ahead. God, thank you that you long for us to know the truth, to know you. Please help us to continue to seek the truth and to share you as well, so that others may see the truth and have all the more opportunities to understand you made them and love them and want them, and that they can choose you and love you and want you back too. Thank you for taking on human flesh to make the sacrifice that only you, the perfect and sinless God, can make to cover all of our sins against each other and all the more against you. Thank you for being so good. May you be glorified and your will be done in us and through us, in you the Father, you the Son, and you the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you each for being here, and I hope to see you around here more often. Subscribe here for more helpful content, and make sure to check out these other videos for the fuller context. Here's the Quranic commandments to judge by the gospel. Here's Ali Dawa saying he converted to Islam because of lies. Here's Ali Dawa saying the only true God is the Father, while Allah is a father to none. God bless you guys.